Finally, after a month-long tournament, we finally have a winner. We have a winner of the G1 Climax 33. The winner was determined this morning right here, actually. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Before we get into it, we're the almighty SOS Wrestle Talk. Be sure you like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Price of subscription, as we all know, is free 99. So before let, like I was just saying before we started, in this morning's finals of New Japan Pro Wrestling's G1 Climax, we had two familiar foes. We had Kazuchika Okada and Ellen Gormanable Tetsuya Naito. So we have two former IWGP heavyweight champions, two former winners of G1 Climax, respectively. Okada winning four, and Naito coming to this match winning two. So the finish of this match saw... Los Ingobernables is their opponent's, I don't want to say leader, but his front man, Tetsuya Naito, connect with the Destino to secure the victory over his longtime rival, Kazuchika Okada, right here. So this was the first time these guys ever faced off in the G1 final, which I thought was good on New Japan to kind of give us that little wrinkle in this rivalry. I thought that was a solid choice right here. And after, of course, his victory, we have Los Ingobernables, their opponent's, Takagi, Hiromu, Yoda Suji, and Bushi. I set that all out of order, just pretty much like Naito did. Yeah, because he, he did that the night before after the match. Will Ospreay was another match of the year contender, so I definitely recommend checking that match out. The match with Okada and Evil was okay. I thought Evil, Evil has kind of been all right in this tournament, a.k.a. Mr. G1. So getting back to the final right here with this victory, Tetsuya Naito has earned the right to challenge for the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship at Wrestle Kingdom 18. So we don't know if is he going to uh, have the briefcase defended. He has some people that he could defend the briefcase against. I'm going to assume he's probably going to defend it against Cobb. I'm not sure about Shane Hayes from TMDK. I I'm not sure if he's going to be able to defend the title. Against that, speaking of TMDK, uh, Kose Fujita has graduated from the Young Lions system, and he is on his excursion. So he's one of the quickest Young Lions to do it, if not the quickest Young Lion to do it. So shout out to Kose Fujita. He's been a beast ever since joining the TMDK faction. I'll be interested to see if he's still a member of that faction following post-excursion. So that, that would be pretty cool if he would be. I would think that'd be pretty cool. And two talents in this tour who've frequently tagged with each other, that being Kaito Kiyomiya and Roye Oya. Kaito Kiyomiya has actually invited Roye Oya to come over to New, uh, Pro Wrestling Noah to maybe, you know, take, come under his wing a little bit. So I thought that was pretty cool. Roye Oya is one of the bright spot young lions. They have actually a good class of young lions right here. So I would actually love to see Roye Oya at some point over in a Pro Wrestling Noah ring. Also, further news from the G1 Climax is Sonata. He revealed that he was dealing with an injury throughout the whole entire G1 Climax. So he was able to make it to the quarterfinals before losing to his former stablemate, that being the King of Darkness Evil. He was available. He he wrestled in the 10-man tag this morning. And I don't, I'm, yeah, I, I saw he had his arm taped up and I believe he tore his bicep. I believe is what the injury was. So speedy recovery for Sonata. Um, speaking of Sonata, actually, he took place in the, like I said, the preliminary tag this morning. And in a preliminary tag, we had just five guys taking on the House of Torture. And the House of Torture actually got the victory right here in this match. And it's setting up for a, which pretty much surprised me, setting up for a match between Evil and Sonata since Evil was the one to kick him out of the G1 Climax right here. So, yeah, no, it's pretty good. I think this is going to be okay right here. So, Matt, that match went a little longer. Uh, so, yeah, Sho actually pinned, I believe, was a Taiji with the Shock Arrow in that match. So, that match was pretty decent. And some other matches from the final show that I think, besides the main event, that I would probably go out of my way to watch. I would go out of my way to watch Master Wado, Shota Mino, Tamaki Homa, and Yuji Nagata taking on the Strong Style team. This is pretty much continuing the rivalry between Rin Narita and Shota Amino. So, I'm always for that right here. Then you got the TMDK taking on the, the Chaos Contingent. This is setting up for a tag team title match for Mikey Nichols and Shane Hayes against Bishimon. Maybe they can upset them and get the belts, man. I'd be glad to see that. We had a shocking result in, I believe, in multi-man tag and an eight-man tag between Los and Gobernables de Japón and the United Empire. We know Will Ospreay took the L to Tetsuya Naito in the semi-main. Him being in this eight man tag here in the penultimate no that was not the penultimate match of the show it was the match before the penultimate but he actually was pinned by yoda suji and that's setting up yoda suji for a united states title shot or since news has happened since post saturday 
a IWGP United Kingdom Championship match. As Will Ospreay is now christened that belt, the United Kingdom Championship has pro staked his claim as the best in the world. So we'll see what develops from this title storyline right here. So, and he also has a match with Shingo coming up as well. So I believe that title will also be on the line. We have a lot of stuff that, that you know, that we can branch off from from this G1 Climax final. You know, I'm super excited for it. You know, I'll have the coverage here because we are your preeminent YouTube channel talking about Japanese pro wrestling. There might be some others out there. They can't touch us. We all know what it is, man. So your boy, Pro Wrestling Fly God, Stardust, Shiaku, Blunt, C and Idol. I am signing off from this G1 Climax 33. I ultimately thought the G1 Climax was a win. I'm digging this new format. I'm hoping they continue this format going on into the future. And if not, they can just go back to the classic two block, 10 wrestlers per block format. So signing off up out of here. I will holler at all of y'all later. Peace.